It's sometimes hard to tie back an intervention to the outcome sometimes. It seems like it shouldn't be, but sometimes it is, especially when there's a lot of different parts and patients are complex, obviously. So, but I already know in a couple of cases that they've sent people home from the ED and things like that because of the results from Accelerate. So to me right there, if you can already say that, that's more powerful than a lot of stuff that we do in healthcare. That's the way I see it. It's a great feeling to go in now and to be able to tell a patient who's saying, hey, they say it's on you, when can I get out of here? I have bills to pay, I have a cat to feed, I take care of my, my sick aunt, of hey, you can go out now. We, we know what this organism was yeah, three hours ago as opposed to three days from now, uh, which is a, a really cool feeling. That is part of the selling point for Accelerate for us when we brought it in, was the potential for length of stay reduction. So basically, we're doing the right things for the patients. We're taking a guess for a smaller, shorter period of time for these bacteremic patients, and then we get them on optimal therapy much sooner. We're about six months in at this point, and we're showing probably about you know, a two-day length of stay reduction in our ICU patients, as well as a four to five-day length of stay reduction for our inpatients overall. When we um, were able to bring the Accelerate Pheno into the laboratory, and make things happen as quickly as we did, we started to really see the difference we were making in patients' lives. Not only did we identify faster, but they were treating differently. And um, when we finally sat down and looked at the first set of patients to see if we were making a difference, we realized that it was a game changer in our patient care treatment for uh, gram-negative rods and for sepsis. I think that the biggest motivating factor in us bringing in the pheno system was getting my patients the best care as soon as possible. Um, we didn't have to sit twiddling our thumbs while giving it our best guess, as educated as that may be, but to know definitively way sooner that this is the right treatment course for them. The first day that we used the system um, on our own when we were live, and that first patient came off, there was like a little dance party with the very first result. They were just, they were so excited and um, very invested. We've been sharing the results and outcome data with them. And so I think it's really given them a viewpoint of how what they're doing in the basement, in the lab, is actually changing the outcome and patient care of these patients on the floors, which they're not always privy to. Um, so it's been nice and we've gotten good feedback for sharing that data with them. You know, we knew in our head we're affecting patient care, but it's real easy to be behind the microscope, behind the analyzer, and kind of forget how much you affect it. So with this, especially like I said, with the success stories pharmacy was sharing with us and to see how much lab truly does affect patient care has been eye-opening for everybody and I think has really kind of renewed some, some of that passion why you got involved in this in the first place. You know, we're all in the business of, of, of saving lives. We're in the business of reducing morbidity. And having the tools in which to enact that is absolutely, is absolutely phenomenal. That is, um, that is what we're called upon to do. <laughs> it's great when you put something in place and it, it turns out exactly the way you thought it was going to turn out. And, and I think that's where we are. We always have some challenges to work through, but uh, seeing something that you kind of envision and work collaboratively with your team and you all put it in place and it gets everybody excited uh, is, is great. This is my community. This is where I live. And it's important to me personally to know that we are providing a high quality result for our sickest patients who are very frequently people that I would know. <laughs> it's. Um, we do that for all patients, but knowing that it's impacting my own people that I care about really is, it's a thing for me.